one of the easiest ways to describe what leadership is. So I kind of thought about it. I came to where we have something like the craftsman and the apprentice, right? The teacher and the student. Generically, the teacher, the student, the craftsman, the apprentice. Um, you're showing the person that's under your authority uh, the skills and the traits needed to become a potter, let's say, or an ironsmith. The 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 artisan, right? The ironsmith, the potter, the potter. They've already worked. You know, they've already put years in their experience in learning how to do their trade you know they probably were apprenticed uh, uh, themselves when they were younger uh, sometimes these these um these uh traits and skills get passed down from father to son to, to children right so 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 the craftsmen when well, we're just looking at at, at the craftsmen but we're, that that goes across a lot of different uh, uh, a lot of different uh, levels of understanding so once once the craftsman is there he's already experienced in, in in whatever it is that he does you know that's there so 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 then he gets to a point to where he has to show the next person below him right if they're running a business, a shop or whatever, the son, whatever, I'm getting old, I need to teach the next generation these skills, these traits that I picked up along the way that have been passed down before from my parent to me, and then from me to the next child. That's that's kind of like what leadership is. It, it, it's not only showing, you know, how to do, it, it, it's because when you show somebody how to do something, it's not as simple as just telling them you're you're working with them through experience you're working together through it showing them leading them guiding the way using uh, as a craftsman the experience that they learned along the way you know i've been doing these carvings for 20 years those 20 years of experience of 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 of, uh, of failures and of successes and all the teachings and uh, all these things that, that gather up over over the years uh, gives that person the ability, uh, maybe the quality of, of a craftsman. You know, if, if I just started doing these things, maybe my work may not be as good as the guy who's been doing it for 20 or 30 years, right? Or maybe I'm not a master craftsman yet. So leadership is something like that. It's it's not only it's not only teaching and and showing a the next person, the next, you know, the people that are under your authority, your students, apprentice, your workers, showing them the proper way and also being an example at the same time. Like like we're going to work through this together you're gonna see me work these machines you're gonna see me cut this wood and carve it you're gonna see me do these things while you are working along with me and i as the craftsman as the teacher as the the one uh, that is over um, not over you but you are subject to me because i am the teacher or the or the boss or whatever you know i need to be watching if i have the the right character in my leadership I need to be watching and paying attention to you, the student, uh, to see if you're going to do things right. And when you don't do things right to to make a correction, like, oh, wait, this is how it's done. You did it like this, but this is actually the way it should probably be done or the way it should be done because of the experience has shown us, no, this is the best way to do this thing. So as the teacher, as the craftsman, as as the one above the other, I need to, right. We I need to pay attention to their work as they are learning to see if they if it's being done in a proper manner, 